Hey, this is Ty. So check this out. You know, I get this question all the time. Ty, what do you have for lunch or for dinner? So I was in the uh, grocery store the other day and I came across some chicken tenders. Now this company, they're called Gardein. All right, so let's think. About two and a half years ago when I first became vegan, I decided to try some Gardein products, right? Now they didn't, at the time, they didn't have their chicken, you see here, chicken tenders, not chicken. But anyway, they didn't have this product out. So they had, um, some, it was more like an Asian dish that they had, but it was all, it was made of soy and they had a, a burger. I just really didn't like it that much. And they also had a, a Guardian ground. I didn't really like it as much, but I tried it. I was like, hey, you know what? This is my first month going vegan. Why not? Well, I kind of put Guardian off to the side for a while. So I'm going to give them another try because now it's been a couple of years. Just like everything else in this world, I'm sure it's improved, especially in the plant-based world. So these are called Guardian Ultimate Plant-Based Chicken Tenders. So as you check out the back of the label here, I'm looking at the ingredients because, you know, I'm all about the ingredients and especially when it comes to like a plant-based, um, you know, if, it, if it's a plant-based meat, which this would be considered, I'm always looking at what are they using for the actual ingredients that, that make up the protein, right? So for here, we have soy protein and we also have pea protein. That's cool with me because that's a complete protein. And you know, you've watched all the videos that I've made about elite protein. You know, elite protein is a complete protein. I love complete proteins because it's all about the complete amino acid profile. So if you work out like I do, or if you just want, you know, just like an actual complete meal, but it's going to be a plant-based protein meal, then you would like to have a complete protein. So, you know, and there's different things you can do if you're eating, let's say you're eating a, a soy, for example. Well, then you can mix the soy with, you know, some lentils or, and something like this, what I would normally do with like my meals and what I'll probably do with this one, again, I haven't tried it yet, but most likely I'm probably going to mix it with a little bit of lentils just to have some, some extra protein in there, but check this out. So I'm looking at speaking, since we're speaking about protein, right? I'm checking out the nutritional facts, right? 15 grams of protein for two pieces of nuggets. I think that's great. Now the carbs, carbs are a little high, but you know, Hey, it's breaded. And also the sodium is high, but listen, when it comes to these plant-based foods, the sodium is going to be high, especially if it has pea protein, because peas are naturally high in sodium. So that's a, a fun fact for you. Sometimes, you know, you're in the grocery store, you're like, oh, I want to try this vegan product. Oh, too much sodium. It's okay. It's natural sodium. Just drink some water. You'll be fine. Hey, and if you appreciated that little tip I gave you, make sure you subscribe and hit the like button. I would definitely appreciate that. So also the back of this label here. It has some uh, instructions for if you have, if you want to, I guess if you have an air fryer, I have an air fryer, all my food goes in the air fryer. I absolutely love that. But you know what I also noticed here? If you take your phone and you scan the label, there's something called smart label. So for those out there who really care about what they're eating in terms of like the ingredients, if you go ahead and scan smart label here, it'll take you to a page where each ingredient is explained. All you have to do is just select the ingredient that you want. I think this is pretty cool. I mean, you know, real chicken doesn't have this type of uh, technology, right? So anyway, let's go ahead and give this a try because I'm hungry and I want to know what it tastes like. All right, check it out. Fresh out the air fryer, we have the Gardein chicken tenders. Now, just off the visual appearance here, they look just like regular chicken tenders. So there's no way in the world that if these were mixed in a batch of like real chicken tenders, as some people like to call them, you wouldn't, this is like totally indistinguishable. Light. The color, the smell, I mean, just like, uh, I mean, are these really chicken? I, this is pretty crazy right here. So check it out. I mean, the color, everything, even how firm it is. This is, this is, <laughs> this is going to be very interesting. So, all right. So, all right, shut up, Ty, and just eat it so we can find out how it tastes. All right. Now, I just didn't want to talk with a mouthful. Wow. Gardein, you won me back. Wow, these actually taste really good. I don't know if you can see the inside there. I mean, it does look just like chicken. Now, to the critic out there, obviously, it's not chicken. So, the texture is not going to be perfect. But, woof, this is pretty close. I just could just think like a year or two from now. I mean, meat is just, I mean, what's going to be the purpose of it? And this is coming from the biggest meat eater that some of you know, if you know me personally, and some of you have never known. I mean, I eat so much chicken and turkey and beef. It's just crazy, but wow. This is really good. I'm going to give it another try just to make sure the first one wasn't a, uh, a fluke. 
Yeah. Now notice, I'm not eating this with a dipping sauce. I typically typically don't eat food with dipping sauces, but listen, I'm not normal. As a normal person out there, you're going to love to just dip this in some barbecue sauce, some ketchup, no problem. This is like a great like little appetizer or a party gift. I, I say party gift, but like a party appetizer. Yeah. Gardein did a fantastic job. I will definitely buy these again, but I'm hungry because I've been waiting for these uh, chicken tenders to hurry up and finish. So I'm going to eat these. Make sure you check out our next video because I'm most definitely, I think, um, I think the impossible chicken nuggets. You know what? Let's, let's give those a try. All right. Make sure you subscribe, hit that like button. We'll see you next time.